Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with our third and final Time Spiral Remastered Draft Booster Box opening tonight. Now if you missed box number one and box number two, make sure to go check out box number one starting off there. That box is absolutely amazing, but there's also a very awesome like goal over there. I did let you guys know that I would strong arm boss man to let me open up some more Time Spiral next week in my Liliana the Veil cosplay if we got that video to 500 likes, so make sure to go check that out. Now box number two, comparatively, I mean box number one did set us up up a bit for failure which is how awesome it was box number two was a little bit lacking in my opinion saw some nice mythics but the quantity of mythics was pretty low so i'm very excited and very hopeful that we'll turn it around here and end off on a really high note and maybe even find our first thought seize. now i have been trying to find a thought seize in all of these boxes tonight haven't found one just quite yet we found yogma foil and non-foil chalice of the void but we haven't seen a thought seize, so i'm very excited um, if we don't find a thought seize, I'll take a foil true name nemesis. That would be very nice. Old border style true name. But anyways, let's go ahead and get on into our third and final draft booster opening of the night by snapping us into the corner and let's get on into it. Very high hopes here for box number three. Like I said, even though box number two it only found three regular mythics, which is like, man, that kind of sucks. Um... I know offhand two of them are really, really nice. I won't spoil which ones. I've already spoiled a lot for you guys. Um, but just make sure to go check out those videos. I'm really loving this product. I'm excited to open up some more this weekend live with our Saturday night live stream starting at 7.45 p.m. Eastern. Do have two boxes already scheduled for Sean F. And then on Monday, we do actually have two boxes for Harry F. as well. Those will be recorded and uploaded on Monday. But let's see if we can keep up our trend of finding one foil... Old bordered card per box. We have a Sedge Sliver. And Mole Drifter is our first time shifted. The Yogmoth Matt did bring us some Yogmoth luck, but I would love to see a foil thought seize. I checked last night, they were pre selling. Average on TCG Player was $370, which is insane. Although, I mean, you got to get that old border foil swag. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just need to bite the bullet and get crazy cards like that, especially if you're someone... I know there are people out there that only like to play with old border foils, like the whole deck foiled out old boiler style. So replacing the thought seizes with an old boulder... Old bo boulder... Old border style one? Definitely an upgrade there. I'm personally not the world's largest old border fan, but, I mean, I respect the cards a lot. Stuffy Doll. Huh. I wonder if there's just a little bit of an issue with all the stuffy dolls. That's kind of the second funky looking one we've seen. Hey, cheeky, uh, cheeky, kiki cheeky, mirror breaker. Ever since box number two started, my pronunciation skills have gone super downhill. I don't know what it is. My mind is not as fast as my mouth, I guess. I'm like, I know what this card is, and my mouth just spurts random syllables, and hopefully I get there. I don't know. But I am thoroughly enjoying all these time spiral openings. Pact of Negation, Restoration Angel, and Erratic Mutation Foil. First foil of the box. Pact of Negation, we've seen, I think, one in every box so far. Definitely a very nice card. We have Crovax, Ascendant Hero, Mythic. First Mythic of the box. Solemn Simulacrum. That I believe is a new art from Greg Staples. And Thelonite Hermit Foil Rare. First foil rare of the box. Living End, Mythic number two, and a Ponder Old Border. All right, so this time the box is top loaded with Mythics. I feel like the other two boxes have had the majority of them towards the bottom. Maybe we'll just see a plentiful mythic box. That would be nice. We have Greater Gargadon, Harvester of Souls, and a Metallic Sliver Token. Summoner's Pact. Thrag Tusk and Snapback Foil. Runaway Pack. Put you back in the box. Back in our opening queue. Care Keep. Abrupt Decay. 
spider token. Slaughter Pact, Mirror Entity. I think Mirror Entity was also recently reprinted in Mystery Booster. I say recently, but that was around this time last year. Remember, actually, those were the first very popular magic openings on the channel. My initial Mystery Booster openings. Good times, good times. Joyra, Evolutionary Leap. It's crazy to think how much the channel has grown, both my confidence camera quality, video quality wise, and just actual physical growth, not f physical growth of the channel since those openings. Aeon Chronicler, Manifold Key, and Blight Speaker, Foil. Glittering Wish, Remand, and a Knight Token. Come on, Thoughtseize. That's what we're looking for here today. Give me the fairy in my ear who wants to extract my thoughts, please. Thelon of Havenwood and Grey, and Grey Merchant of Asphodel. Nicknamed Gary, which throws me off. I want to call him Gary Merchant of Asphodel. It's not. It's Grey Merchant. Remember, that was an exciting reprint in our first ever openings here on the channel, Theros Beyond Death. Which, believe it or not, I know not too many people actually are super familiar with, because of course a lot of people have been joining over the past several months. Uh, but the channel only started in January 2020. So definitely come a long way, like I said, quality-wise. Video and myself quality. You know, and actually a couple weeks ago during our live stream, Rudy, Creepy Rudy from over at Alpha Investments, stopped by and had some very kind words. And that just absolutely blew my mind. Drow New, Lich Lord, Become Immense, Whip Spine Drake. Uh, gives me the warm and fuzzies whenever I'm feeling down to think, you know, that someone whose channel I watch and respect a lot found my channel and been like, wow, you're doing a great job. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> so that was super cool. I'd say that's probably my highlight of the year so far. I say so far because, I mean, you never know what can happen. But still, we have Magus of the Moon. Prized Amalgam. And a foil mirror entity. All right. So most likely our almost time-shifted foil of the box mirror entity. All right. We'll take it. We'll take it. All right. It's not Thoughtseize. It's not $370. Which I'm sure that price will be fluctuating a lot, especially now with this being released weekend, a lot more being opened, more being available to order. Of course, when there's like a couple people that have it listed, you can list it for whatever you want. Because what are you going to do? Buy it from somebody else? There's not, there's nothing else. Um, so definitely with more people opening, I, I expect that to adjust, but I wouldn't be super surprised if it's still a pretty crazy price. But man, this is like a whole new world for me, just seeing the fact that cards being in the different style border being so expensive. It reminds me of like... Masterpiece cards almost, except more readily accessible. Still not super easy to get the foils. Makes me wonder in Strixhaven, Angel of Salvation, Ewit, I like that with the um, Ultimate Masters art there. I remember, I remembered the set. Makes me wonder with Strixhaven with those, um, I don't remember if they're still calling it Showcase or not, but that, that spells kind of insert set. We'll be one per pack, the ones with like, you know, Demonic Tutor and different cool stuff like that. And then there's the Japanese alternate art ones too, which you can find in set boosters and collector boosters. At least to my knowledge. Uh, those will be one per pack. And then when they made that announcement that they're one per pack, I'm like, that kind of seems like you're just crushing your own value of the cards if they're easily accessible. But as we can see here in experience with this set with Time Spiral, even if you're getting a time shifted card per pack, doesn't mean the cards are going to be cheap, so... I know a lot of people are excited about those being one per pack. Me, personally, I was like, eh, is that a good idea? But I'm, I'm for it now. I'm for it. Definitely excited to see how that plays out. I am always loving the new standard showcase cards. I just like collecting alternate art. So, like, me in general, every time I see stuff like that, I'm like, hmm, kind of want that. Stinkweed Imp and a Flagstones. I haven't seen anything 
nothing too crazy to my knowledge out of these time shifted cards. Still waiting on a thought, sees. Three boxes in, we haven't seen one. Still got about half of this box left. We have Cloud Key, Palace Jailer. Still staying at our two mythics. Hopefully we'll see improvement in that number as well. Valeria West, Silence, and Kobold Token. We have Boom Bust and Ethereal Armor. I just had a funny thought. If this was a sports product, the time shifted cards would be like a vintage insert subset. Or like vintage parallel ethereal armor, vintage parallel trigon predator. Like what does that even mean for magic? It's interesting. It's like the two worlds are so closely related because they're all different types of cards, have different kinds of parallels in essence here with magic with the foils or different alternate arts, but they're just so completely different worlds. It's interesting to look at all different kinds of cards. TCGs, sport cards, and of course, non-sports. And I collect a little bit from each of the categories. So, it definitely is a lot of in initial information to take in. We have a Chroma, Angel of Fury, or Mythic number three of the box. Leveler and Bone Splitter Silver. Sliver. I've done that multiple times tonight. My brain's like auto-correcting myself to silver instead of sliver. I have no excuse for that when the card's red. It's not even like a white card where I can be like, oh, I thought it looked kind of silvery. Just alley, alley brain fart moment. Jaya Ballard, Task Mage, and Tassiger, the Golden Fang, again with the Ultimate Master's art there. Oh, that was an uncommon. Don't want to mix up my piles. We have Uborg, Tomb of Yawgmoth, and Bajookabog, and Foil Stone Cloaker. Very nice so far here with that Uborg. Very nice rare. Definitely, like I said, looking to see a bit more oomph from these time-shifted cards here in box number three. If High Arcanist, Feather the Redeemed, and Castle Raptors. Angel's Grace, Vampire Hex Mage, Deferi, Mage of Zalfir, or Mythic Number Four, Ninja of the Deep Hours. That's pretty cool. Back token. Down to our last couple rows here. I think actually down to our last one with one extra pack on the left. I thought there was two rows left. Looks like there's just one. Got some sliver pack art there, chilling, waiting. Wonder if we'll see another sliver legion here in box number three. Draining Welk, Time of Need. Nether Trader, Dismember, Violent Sliver. Phil Knight Hermit, Arcades, the Strategist, Mythic from Corset 2019, I believe. Brute Force Foil. And second to last pack of Time Spiral, give us something crazy. Please and thank you. We have Miri the Cursed, Itali Primal Storm, Elvish Mystic. Hey, we actually got two time shifted foils here. Elvish Mystic. That's cool. I like that. I like seeing the two here. I was wondering, we only got one foil rare. I was like, that seems that seems kind of light. But we did get two of the 
old borders. And final pack here tonight of Time Spiral. Like I said, you want to see more openings, you can come back on Monday for a personal break, live on Saturday night. Or just make sure you go ahead and hit that like button on box bo uh, booster box opening number one of the night. So I can bully boss man into letting me open more next week for you guys. We have Reiterate and... Uh, not foil, but I feel accomplished. Like I have no control over it whatsoever. But we did get a last pack thought seize. Very, very pleased with that one. I just wanted to see it. I don't know if you guys watched the end of booster box number two, but I even matched my eyeshadow to be thought seize color. That's what I went with my design. I was like, do I want to go with red? And I was like, I wore red with this fishnet thing last time I wore it, so I didn't want to do that. And I was like, let me wear some pink and I'll throw some pink and purple to match the thought seize. And we did pull one, creep it in that looks like an elf ear because it's pointy. Give me a thoughts. It's like, bro, you can just go hang out on Twitch. Get out of that dude's ear. But anyways, Thoughtseize. Very, very cool. Time shifted rare in the back. Uh, not, unfortunately, not foil. But hey, we still found one. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to find one. So I'm very pleased with that. Not sure why I decided to uh, straighten up the commons this way. But I am preparing ourselves for our end of box recap here. We'll take a look at all of our rares as well as our mythics. Did get four here, so a step up from box number two, but still not as great as box number one. Although, like I said, I think at the end of box number one, I think it's just setting us up for disappointment. I don't know how you can absolutely top or even come close to that box. Two 100 plus dollar foils. Um, what, like six or seven regular mythics, which are absolutely insane. All of them except one, and even that one, I'm just not certain on the price on that one. Absolutely crazy. Uh, but this box, very pleased to pull it out in the end with a thought seize. Did just get that one foil rare, Thelonite Hermit. Two time shifted foils, Mirror Entity and Elvish Mystic. Thought seize. This card looks great in Old Border though. Some cards really pop in the Old Border, some I feel like just look odd. That one looks great. With that, I think, Lorewin art of Thought Seas. Do get four mythics here as well. Crovax, Living End, Chroma, and Teferi. And for our rares, let's just pan through these real quick. And that will do it. We did get an Urborg. There it is. Set that on top. Again, another Teleria West, Cloud Key, Flagstones, Slaughter Pact, Summoner's Pact, Pact of Negation. Lots of packs here. So not bad on the rares. Could have been better on the Mythics, but I'm still overall pleased with this box because we did find the Thought Seas I was very excited to be looking for tonight. So we actually did accomplish all my goals here. I wanted to find a Foil Yog Moth, wanted to find a Thought Seas, and I also wanted to find a Chalice. And throughout all three boxes, we did get to check off all three of those boxes. But go ahead and let me know your thoughts on this, uh, this box, this video. Just in general, leave your comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, which I hope each and every one of you did, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Titan Curse, you only want to see more TCG openings from me, whether it be this Time Spiral or tomorrow with the brand new Pokemon Battle Styles, upcoming Card Fight Vanguard, Flesh and Blood Monarch when that comes out, more Y Schwartz like Data Live will have next Friday. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, I have a lot of sports and non-sports openings here on the channel as well. I do just about a little bit of everything here. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, that is it for the Time Spiral. Just three boxes tonight. Did have a lot of in-store pre-orders for booster boxes. So once we get more, should be getting more next week. Like I said, if we hit that like goal unbox video number one, we'll go ahead and open up some more for you guys in my Liliana of the Veil cosplay. Before I get on out of here, though, for the final time, I do have to give a big shout-out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you guys, for going above and beyond your support of the channel. We really, truly do appreciate it. Do have six Black Label fans, Andon, Bounty Hunter Breaks, Epicenter Gaming, Sean F., Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. We also do have nine Gem Mint fans, Alberto M., Anthony Basileo, Chris Rivers, Devon, Dusty Archuleta, Jerry Atchik Geek, Jake Rhino C., Joe Howe, and Michael C. But thank you so much, like I said, to all of our channel members. And all members do have their names shown on screen at the end of every single video. But that'll do it for me here tonight. I hope you enjoyed all three of our Time Spiral openings. Box number one, I think it definitely won by a landslide here. But still very happy to end off with actual last pack magic here. Finding that thought sees would have been cooler in foil. Still a very awesome card. But I hope you all enjoyed these openings today. Take care, stay safe, and hope to catch you in the next video. Bye!